what I wanted to do essentially was, you know, show you guys the the slower, deeper, darker side of what, you know, is, you know, my, my, my process in music. And then, you know, we get back into the fun stuff, yeah. you know, which we ultimately will always end up doing. With Sandra, you know, that's, that's <laughs> the whole project is to have fun, let loose and, and do that thing. But at the same time, you know, there is, I think with any artist, there's a side of yourself that you kind of, you, do, you don't want to show, you know what I mean? You don't want to, sh- you don't want to get too deep into or let the people see. And I kind of want to strip away that barrier for everyone and just be like, hey, you know, I'm more vulnerable in terms of musical genres than you think. Here's what we have to say. Just going through uh, just a rebranding, kind of coming up with some new logos, man. Just trying to make the brand more, you know, what's the effective? Uh, looks cool. The octopi or the squid? What's going on? Um, so yeah, Talk man. So back in the day, uh, 
my like my favorite animal in the entire entire world is an octopus. And so like I had this weird idea back in the day that you know like if I were to come up with a brand, my gimmick would be an octopus, right? So the reason for that being is like when you hear a set of mine, I want it to take you to like the darkest darkest depths of the ocean, you know, take you down, drag you down. I'm trying to drag you down. You know what I mean? So you have the the octopus tentacles wrapping around each letter, and and, and, and eventually they're gonna grab you and take you down with me. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's all it's all like to bring you to my level, so to speak. Okay. is a particular term which actually means dealing with intuition.
like secret passion is is that kind of music the deep progressive like long form 10 minute long songs we have to listen the whole thing (laughs) yeah 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 yeah. and so and so yeah man choir (laughs) yeah exactly and 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 so um yeah man it's it's all about bringing that to kind of the the forefront of what i'm doing right now and and still staying true to, to to what i'm doing as xander and and providing that kind of vibe to to my audience in that sense so it's uh it's really cool to see people your age doing that style of music here in Ohio because it's not very it's uncommon. It's uncommon in, in just this whole area, period. Yeah, and uh, I've, I mean, I, well, thank you first and foremost. But as far as, you know, widespread people doing it in Columbus, it's hard to come by. Um, for me, it's just something that I like personally. Um, that's the only reason why I find myself doing it. It's not, it's not, you know, I don't, of, I don't want to say reason. it's not there. I just, you cannot fill a club night with just that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely on, on not. A, on a regular on a regular basis. No, 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 no. I mean, if right. you try to do that every Friday night at, at any club, Dahlia, Scully's, you know, whatever, Newport, you'd, you'd be hard-pressed to find a crowd that's going to come out every Friday. Right. Right? But at the same time, you know, it's not going to stop me from no, fucking no, making it. <laughs> no, no. Doesn't break my heart. No, no. And, and again, man, th- that's why I'm so thankful for you guys for allowing me to come here and, and showcase it this way, where people that appreciate it can see it and hear it and I be mean, a This part is of what it. we love to do. Exactly, so man. I mean, and and it, it means the world to me that I can that I can do it for people that care and appreciate it at the same time. So that's yeah. a blessing to me. Absolutely. So man. I thank you guys, man.
sound was we i mean that's what we were talking about the sound was just it was deep it was progressive it wasn't as much of uh, a big room sound mm-hmm. you know but even even when i heard your first music that was you know more of an in your face style yeah um it still had those elements of of the underground the progression that i really like you know thank you thank um, you and yeah this wow <laughs> thank you man yeah and and it's so funny so like to, to try to like break it down and, and like make sense of what the hell everyone just heard i've uh you know obviously like my 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 main focus on music is like loud obnoxious uh energetic music but um there's a part of me that loves the the down tempo calming drivey progressive bass kind of house style uh that you guys just heard and so all the while i've been making you know all my xander stuff i've been making this kind of this uh this other genre of music um and it's very much still xander uh but it's very much its own sort of entity um when you when you look at things and 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 you hear how it sounds in the club especially and 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 on a, a personal level when people hear it a lot of like weird progressive house techno kind of stuff that i've just been sitting on man and i kind of want to you know show my talents in terms of everything that i can bring to the table and i think that's the most important thing i think that's the most important uh, element to any musician is being able to do everything that you can uh and do it well and so i want to be able to show and and showcase essentially my my talents in every realm of the genres that i that i like appreciate and listen to on my own so again i thank you guys for having me here sh- to play that set for it, you seriously guys. It's, you. it's our pleasure man i mean thank we, you uh, you know we really enjoyed having you last here last time and uh i guess maybe tony knew a little bit about what to expect but i really had no idea and yeah, he was like yeah. you need to have this guy in and and have him on the show. I was like, okay. And then after we did that kind of, we did the podcast episode where we kind of combined the performance and the, and the interviews uh-huh. and stuff. Yeah. And that turned out so well and had such positive response. And we, it, on top of that, we just really liked the, the music that you were. Thank you. And, and again, and again, I think I, what makes the show work is the fact that you're bringing in people that are going to provide music that matters and music that makes people want to listen to it again. And, and again, you guys are so good at that. And, and again, I'm thankful for you guys having me back. Thank you.
DJs. I'm your host, David Michael, and you're listening to Xander, live from Passionate DJ Studios. Now, this was originally broadcast on our Twitch channel, which you can get to by visiting twitch.tv slash passionate DJ. The interview clips that you hear in this set are from episode 220 of the Passionate DJ podcast. This is a talk show about the art and science of mixing music, which you can listen to wherever you like to listen to your podcasts. Or you can watch the fancy video versions on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash passionate DJ. Now, if you'd like to hear the version of Xander's set here without all of these clips, just the straight up music, you can listen to that on our SoundCloud channel over at soundcloud.com slash passionate DJ. All right, back to the music.
such a cool medium to showcase your talent and your and and what you just what you've been working on like i mean i I brushed on it last time with covid and everything that's been going on it's just so hard to like for every artist to wrap their head around what the hell is going on um you know you you make all this music and you want to play it out in a club and you can't go out and play it in the club because they're all shut down so um to be able to come and do this is just is a breath of fresh air it's hard to play this style in clubs even without COVID. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah, you know and, and you know what's so funny? It's so funny you say that. Is like that's kinda why I wanted to showcase it here. Um because like the last time last time I played, I played, you know, pretty much like what you'd expect in a Xander set. Um, you know, through and through. You know, basic basic level entry. Can't standard issue what you'd hear at a Xander set. Right. Um today I wanted to go a little different direction. Um the, sa- the sound that you heard today was more of something that that I personally, um, it's it's stuff that m- it makes me feel a certain type of way in terms of emotion and and in, it, it allows me to take a more of a journey with my music mm-hmm. than just like build up drop build up drop build up drop build up drop.
schedule busy. My head in a hoodie, my shorty a hoodie. My cousins are crazy, my cousins like boogie. Life is amazing, it is what it should be. terms of on a personal level of just being like hey here's another side of me emotionally that you haven't heard before bring it to the table sort of thing so there's two separate things that we could talk about here we could talk about the productions that you played today but there's also the dj element mm -hmm. and the way that you 
chose to order those tracks and mix those tracks and the way that you, you blended them, which nice mixing, by the way. Thank you. And like as a side note, yes. like very smooth. appreciate it. <laughs> I worked work so hard. Yeah, you know? sounded great. Um, <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank but uh, but I'm specifically commenting on the progression of the overall set. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know how much of that was intentional or planned, and you don't have to answer that. I'm but. going to answer it. It was absolutely intentional. Okay. Uh, it was completely intentional. Uh, the reason I, I... Every track you heard was set out in a way um, that I felt it needed to be played out. Um, basically, what I was trying to do was, was take you on a, 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 a musical path, if you will, through, through what I've been working on on the outer reaches of my genres that I've okay. been touching. You know what I mean? So it was very much deliberate. Um, because it was cohesive, like a like a cohesive album. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like it and just it was thought out. Like you said, it comes down to where do you place these individual tracks, and where where does everything fit in together to tell the story that you're trying to tell? And you know, today there's not necessarily a theme to what I was trying to tell, but it was basically like, look, you know, here's what I've brought to the table over the past so and so months, years, what have you. Um, I'm bringing something else to the table, something fresh, and you know, I didn't want to come in and just play the same old Xander set that you guys heard last time. Um, that's what it comes down to. Every every time I want to be able to bring something fresh and uh, professional to the table. I've been Oh 